What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be sharing with you the battles of a Regulation A++ tournament that I participated in. Now, Regulation A++, if you don't know, is like Regulation A from way back when before Paradox, Pokemon, and Legendaries were allowed, but including all of the new Pokemon from the DLC. So there's a lot of variety and a lot of cool teams in this tour. Uh, I'm going to make sure to link the tour and the host down in the description so you can go check that out uh, and find some more players that participated in it from there. But now I'm going to get into a breakdown of my thought process when building this team. If you don't want to hear of all that and just skip to the battles, that's fine. There will be timestamps in the description. Now, when I started building this team, I figured there's two play styles that I really like. Sun Offense and Bulky Screens. Uh, so my first thought was, let's use Charizard, because Chiyu isn't available, so Charizard in the sun is actually viable. Uh, but then after messing around with Charizard a little bit, I realized Chandelure might work a little bit better. And plus, since Chandelure is my trainer card and basically the channel mascot, I figure, let's do it. So what we've got is a Choice Scarf Terrifier Chandelure, who just has an insane special attack stat and can throw incredibly powerful heat waves and overheats in the sun next to this Torkoal. Now this Torkoal, yes it works as a Trick Room Sweeper, uh, but also it works as a support because it has Helping Hand. So what you can do is just lead Torkoal Chandelure, Helping Hand the Chandelure, blow stuff up. And it's super fun. Now after I put that part together, I was trying to think of the rest of the team, and I started out with Whimsicott Annihilate because I figured Incineroar is going to be a problem for the Sun mode, and Incineroar is legal in this format when it wasn't in Reg A, so a lot of people are going to have it. And it did end up being the number one used, uh, so I figured Annihilate would take that. But I found it kind of awkward to play with, like I had Whimsicott with Sunny Day, which could also help Chandelure, and it had Beat Up to power up Rage Fist, uh, but it didn't feel quite right, it was a little bit the things that it didn't win against felt the same, so I decided I needed to go harder into the Trick Room mode. Uh, so what I did is I took a look at another team I liked. Let me pull that up real quick. So I took a look at this team that I played on the channel re recently for Regulation G and thought this was a really powerful team with a lot of similar components, so maybe I can make something work with this. So I took the Necrozma, which wasn't legal, and replace that with Hatterene, which does more or less the same thing. It's a strong expanding force user. Uh, and then I kept the Gallade, but I changed it to a clear amulet set with Trick Room, because I wanted to have more Trick Room setters. Uh, and then the Ursaluna, I turned, uh, that's the slot that I turned into Chandelure originally. Uh, and then I was playing it basically with those Mons. And Lilligant didn't feel that great, honestly. Like, I already had Gallade as a fighting type, and Lilligant's grass stuff could just be covered by Chandelure having something like Energy Ball or Solar Beam. So I figured I could drop that because I had a couple problems. First, I really missed the physical sword stance sweeping from Ursaluna because that stuff is powerful. So I wanted a sword stance user. And also, I found myself being a little bit weak to rain, and I know Palafin and Pelipper are going to be really strong, so I wanted something that could resist that. In comes Baxcalibur, and that's how I ended up with this final team. Uh, so the Baxcalibur Sword Stance, it's not min speed, because I wanted to take advantage of Loaded Dice Scale Shot. So what this Baxcalibur is, it's very bulky, pretty slow, but fast enough that after a scale shot, you outspeed Garchomp, another Pokemon I expected to be really powerful. There are a few relevant threats faster than Garchomp. There's like Meowskarada, there's Talonflame, uh, there's maybe Noivern, but I didn't actually see any Noivern. Uh, so, and then as, as well as uh, Dondozo at plus two can outspeed uh, a plus one Baxcalibur. But it turned out to be really gr a great call because Baxcalibur just resisting everything that Palafin can throw at it, doing well into Pelipper, giving me my Swords Dance damage that I wanted. It's fantastic. Now one thing you may have noticed about this team is I don't have Protect. I don't have Protect on a single thing. I've got Choice Scarf Chandelure. I've got this Gallade here with Stellar Terra, 
which I wanted for the damage boost, but never really ended up using it. So I do think a defensive Terra on Gallade could work, uh, as well as trying to squeeze in Night Slash somewhere to help hit Golden Go a little bit harder. Uh, Ndidi was perfect. No no comment on Ndidi. Ndidi was absolutely fantastic. Torkoal as well, absolutely fantastic. Hatterene, I don't end up bringing much. Uh, I've got a Terra Blast water set because, again, I was really worried about Incineroar. Uh, but I think it turned out I didn't have to be as worried about Incin. And so Hatterene might be something else. I've got Covert Cloak here uh, to get around if they want to change terrain on me and go for a fake out uh, to get around snarl drops to get around uh, rock slide going for flinches on my Hatterene uh, but really I missed the damage output of like a life orb because like again on the team this is based on this was a necrozma with a power or meteor beam Hatterene does not do that much damage uh, and then Bax Bax also not having protect it has icicle spear Spear for great damage, Scale Shot for when I want the speed boost, and High Horsepower is really important for hitting Golden Go. So there's just no room for Protect. This is a team, you gotta win fast or die trying. Uh, but anyways, I had a blast. I hope you have a blast too. If you stuck around for this intro, thanks. It's time to get on to these battles. Alright, here we go against Ashland. Volcarona. Uh, King Gambit, Dragonite, Sinistra, Pelipper, the pain of my existence, and Grimmsnarl. Uh, Stellar Sash Pelipper. Okay. Uh, I definitely think it's a Gallade in DD game. I don't think I want to set Trick Room right away, because I'm a relatively fast Gallade. Might want to Sacred Sword that King Gambit at some point. But I should be pretty slow, relatively. Uh, Bax seems really good here as well. The only question is, which other Pokemon do I bring? Do I bring Torkoal to change up weather on them? Do I bring Hat, who has like basically only spread moves into their wide guard? It's really one of those two, I guess. Uh, Chandelure doesn't make much sense against what they have. If I'm not going to bring Torkoal. I could bring Torkoal. I could also bring Hatterene. Neither one of those is that bad. Yeah, I think I'll bring Hatterene. If I somehow save Terra for Hatterene, Terra Water, Terra Blast in their reign? Could do some stuff. All right. Uh, the Volcarona is leftovers. Terra Dragon, Heat Wave, Giga Drain, Quiver Dance, Protect. Goggles, King Gambit. That won't matter. Terra Fairy. Uh, three attacks, Protect. Oh, three attacks, Protect. Not Assault Vest. Dragonite's Assault Vest. Rock Slide, E Speed, Ice Spinner, Brick Break. Weird set on Dragonite. Lots of tech. Sinistra, love it. Citrus Berry, Hospitality, Water. Uh, the standard set with Life Do. Pelipper is pretty much standard stellar. They have a trainer card, thank goodness. And standard Grim with Thunder Wave. Okay. Berserker and Caster are coming out first. Okay. They see that I have Trick Room potential. They see that... Okay, they're probably want to go to Ice Spinner. And they're probably going to want to try to reverse Trick Room. Try to Rage Powder, try to Matcha Gacha even. They're gonna Ice Spin. Who do I want to delete? I think getting rid of Sinistra would be nice, though Bax's Caliber kind of walls it. I think I'm gonna throw a big hit at Dragonite. I think I'm gonna Psycho Cut. I'm not gonna commit the, uh, Terra yet. But I'm gonna throw a Helping Hand Psycho Cut right into that Dragonite's face. We have the same base speed, but I have very little investment, so they're probably gonna move first. Yeah, there's the Ice Spinner. Understandable. Does very little damage, though. That's good. And then Psycho Cut does all of it! Critical hit! Let's go! Goodbye, Dragonite! And what's your Sinistra doing? Because it's slower than Gallade or setting Trick Room for me. Thank you! <laughs> Can't reverse it if I'm not clicking it. Clicking it was never the plan. Cool. Very cool. Uh, and now with that actually terrain down... Okay, Saber. Who's Saber? Ah, I see. That's Saber. 
Nah, I'm not gonna fall for whatever that's trying to do. I will now... Well, Trick Room is up. Which actually <laughs> is bad. Believe it or not. Uh, I need to get Ndidi out of here. Probably into Hat Trick. And then I will... Will I throw the Sacred Sword? No. No, because they could easily Rage Powder. They could easily Terra. I'm going to pull Hat Trick in now. Because Trick Room is up. I could then swap and then start expanding forces if they do Terra and if they don't knock me out. Iron Head into Indeedee isn't the most obvious play, but it is a possible play. Uh, no Terra, they just Rage Powder. That makes sense. Kow Tow Cleave, that also makes sense. Big damage, wow. And then just Psycho Cut there. Uh, I need to Gleam. Gleam is the thing that makes the most sense. Do I bring in Indeedee, though? I don't think so. Will Gleam take out Sinistra? That I don't know. Maybe I do bring back Indeedee here. And just click Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Because I don't really want Gallade on the field right now. Sinistra's causing it problems. Uh, I could have Expanding Forced here. I don't think they would Terra. No. Yeah, I knew that wouldn't take out Sinistra. Sinistra bulky, and it has a berry. At least they didn't put screens up with their Grim Snarl. I wonder who their last would be. Tao Tao Cleave takes out Hat Trick. Okay. Now would be a great time to have Torkoal, but no. And they reverse the Trick Room. Okay. Fine by me. Time to go into Bax Caliber and start sweeping that way. Um, I want to follow me. Do I want to save Poison Terra? They could have in the back Pelipper, no. Dragonite is gone. Volcarona, don't need Poison Terra for that. Maybe I should Terra Indeedee. Just to hang on a little longer. I'll just follow me Swords Dance, it's fine. I don't, I don't need to burn Terra right here. Oh, the great thing is Macha Gacha cannot burn Bax Calibur because I am, in fact, the uh, Thermal Exchange. Macha Gacha won't give me an attack boost, though, unfortunately. Okay, they're going for a Terra on King Gambit. They don't want to get hit by a high horsepower. That's fair. I think, I wonder if plus two I can knock you out with Icicle Sphere. That'd be cool. Just gonna get my swords dancing up. <laughs> what if they put Trick Room back on the field? Uh, no, just Life Dude trying to heal up a bit. Okay. Go ahead, heal your King Gambit a bit. Kow Tow Cleave will take out Indeedee. Yes, it will. And now, now I want to go in. Do I want a Stellar Terra right now? I think I do. I want to see if I can get the KO on King Gambit in one shot. Bax Caliber should be faster than Gallade, if I remember correctly. It is. Yeah. So I can Stellar Terra. Psycho Cut. No. I should Poison Terra so I'm not weak to Iron Head. Because I don't think it gets it. I don't think I pick it up with Stellar Terra. So I should do the defensive play. And Icicle Spear their caster. Uh, caster's swapping. This could be a big Icicle Spear into somebody. Who's Rider? Pelipper! You take a plus two Icicle Spear with loaded dice? Let's find out. And with Psychic Terrain on the field, I think it's... Because they removed it and I reset it, I get more turns. So I think I will be safe from Sucker Punch for quite a while. 
Yeah. Oh, uh, just to protect there. Fine. Fine, I'm gonna take out Pelipper. Bonk. <laughs> it's not going to take four. Goodbye through your focus sash. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think this is going to be... I don't want to call it yet. It's not over over. But I'm feeling pretty good about my current position. Sinistra, Matcha Gacha, Rage Powder, Trick Room Life Do. King Gambit with Goggles. They do heal up slightly more. Uh, terrain has only two turns left, so if they live, they can protect and then Sucker Punch. Psycho Cut. Psycho Cut. And yeah, I need a Psycho Cut and Icicle Spear into Sinistra. I was thinking about ignoring Sinistra, but, well, now I can't. Uh, but the one thing I was worried about is doubling into King Gambit. They go for a double protect and set Trick Room, and then start flinching me with Iron Heads or something. But this works out just fine. Uh, especially because Icicle Spear goes first. I don't expect Psycho Cut even on terrain to pick it up. Maybe with a crit. Uh, no, a crit would not have done it. Okay. And yeah, you're not going to take a hit from both of these, so even if you stall out the terrain, that is GG's. And you're going for it. Respect. Uh, maybe... Oh, maybe you crit a Sucker Punch into Bax. Oko that somehow. I don't think that would even Oko with a crit. Uh, but then, because the terrain's gone, Psycho Cut doesn't pick you up, and then you Sucker Punch into Gallade for the win. That is your out, really. Psycho Cuts might not KO you from here without the terrain. Yeah, you're going for it. Respect. It didn't work, because I'm a very bulky bag Excalibur, but I can respect the, the effort. Good game. Oh. Too bad I couldn't bring my fire type because of that Pelipper, but I still think this team worked out well. GG's. I had fun. Alright, we've got Steel Garchomp, uh, a Murkrow, Incineroar's Terra Grass, Meowskarada's Sash, Golden Goes Life Orb. Primarina is scary, it's Calm Mind Leftovers. Alright, uh, Golden Go is probably the scariest thing they could do. But also, like. Would they go Golden Go Murkrow? Because indeed he could just follow me away anything one guy does while Hatterene sets Trick Room. I feel like that's pretty strong with Torque Hole. And then maybe if that doesn't work, blow stuff up with blow stuff up with Chandelure? I don't hate that. I really don't hate that. I think that's what I'm gonna lock into. Uh, Head and Didi is kind of like an obvious lead, but hopefully I'm prepared for it. Who knows? Oh, nice card. Cool. Hoping to see some good cards in this tour. Alright. With... Murkrow Meowskarada. Tailwind, Haze, Taunt, Foul Play. And Flower Trick, Knock Off, Triple Axle, Protect. I can get Trick Room for free. Follow me, Trick Room is perfectly free. Um, I don't see anything they can do about it. Knock Off won't even KO in DD, most likely. Knock Off plus Foul Play, maybe. Uh, you can't Taunt. Uh, go for Tailwind if you want. Yeah, I like this. Follow me. Trick the rooms. And then I can start blasting. Uh, Indeedy might go down, but I'm okay with that, honestly. Uh, Psychic Terrain blocks that when you're Prankster Guy. And just a knockoff, which does over half, unfortunate, but it is what it is. 
think I want to get into Torkoal one way or another. So I'm going to go into Torkoal hard and click Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, that's my call. Yeah, the Meowskirata Sash. The Murkrow's Eviolite, maybe it lives this. It could even Terra to live this. But like... I guess knockoff into Torkoal would hurt, but I would still have Weather Ball. And I don't think they're going to throw a move directly at Indeedee, anyway. Like, I don't expect that. I expect they would try to knock off Hatterene. And I don't really need my Covert Club. Sun is out. Gleam is flying. No Terras. No KOs. Obviously Sash Meowskarata, but Murkrow ate that. Well done, Murkrow. Foul playing to Torkoal will bounce off pretty harmlessly. And knockoff is into Hatterene. Also knocks. Also bounces off pretty harmlessly. Fantastic. I can now click the eruption button. And keep track of trip room turns. Uh, their eruption swap in would be Pre-Marina or Incineroar. Or Garchomp. None of them like a Dazzling Gleam. <clears throat> I will hold Terra though. For now. Yep, Eruption just clears the board. No protect from the Meowskarata. Interesting. Uh, whatever you got left is gonna have protect. Right? Uh, Incineroar doesn't have protect. But everything else you can have in the back does. So I didn't really need to bring in Torkoal there. I could have cleared them both to Dazzling Gleam, but it's fine. Alright, here's the Paldea Champion. There's Primarina. I knew you would bring Primarina. And X-Wing, that sounds like a guard chomp. Yeah, nice. Uh, then it's Eruption and Gleam. And I'm gonna put as much power as I can into the Eruption. So I'm pretty sure that does more than a Helping Hand at Gleam. Plus, like, Terra Dragon and Terra Fairy. Ter no, Terra Dragon on the Prime. Terra Steel on the guard chomp. Good luck. Uh, I may have to reset Sun, because after Trick Room ends, I'll only have one turn of Sun. That's only if I want to lock into Solar Beam with Chandelure in the end game, if they get out of Trick Room, that is. Alright, Torkoal. Here's the power of a chandelier. And the power of the sun. But you already got it. This should just be a double protect, most likely. Oh no, Pre Marina would go first. So Pre Marina's not protecting. I wish I had Expanding Force. I'm not sure why I didn't go for Expanding Force. I just clicked Gleam. That was a throw. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam's not gonna take that. Would Expanding Force have taken it? Let's find out. Ah, uh, maybe. I think it would have been close. And they get their fro oh, leftovers. Okay, not throws, but leftovers, that's right. I will go for Expanding Force now, because that should knock out Pre Marina. And I'm just going to click Weather Ball into Garchomp. Because that plus Expanding Force should definitely do it. And they're going for a Terra. Must be Garchomp. Yeah, you're not going to take this Weather Ball Expanding Force combo. Maybe if I was willing to click a weak Eruption again, but I am not. And just to protect from Free Marina. Fine. Weather Ball time! Woof, 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 woof. Goodbye, X-Wing 77. I assume that's a plane. And how's the trick room looking? Do I have more? Because Hyper Voice could still do some stuff. Twisted Dimensions are back to normal. Weirdness is gone. How's the sun looking? Last turn of sun. 
I'm gonna get Indeedy back in and expand the force. Because this game, it, it's over. As long as I get the sun back up, I can solar beam in the end game if they take a KO on Hat Trick here. Which they could. A Moonblast right into my face with KO. Hyper Voice, not quite enough. Okay. GG's. Too bad I couldn't bring out Chandelure, but Chandelure was there. It was the support for the end game that we never quite made it to. It was close, it almost came out. GG's, Trevor. All right, here we go against a very scary team. Uh, I kind of want to go Chandelure. I feel like Talonflame is an unlikely lead. And Chandelure can do really well into a lot of the other stuff. Uh, in which case, I want to lead Torkoal. Uh, I guess the scariest lead... Because, like, this can destroy Mousehold turn one pretty easily. They're Terra Ghost safety goggles. Yeah, Heat Wave should obliterate that. And then there's Annihilate to worry about, which is Terra Fire. But Torkoal has Earth Power for that baby, if that is their lead. So I like this lead. Uh, I kind of want Indeedee. And then finally... Uh, who slows... who stops that? Gyarados, maybe? Could be a problem. Rillaboom isn't too big an issue unless it goes Terra Fire. I guess I'm a little worried about Golden Go popping off, but it's Terra Steel, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. I think I want Bax Calibur last. I really don't know who the right last should be. I'm probably not going to get up Trick Room, so I think Bax is smarter. I can scale shot to get ahead of some of those things speed wise if I need to. Because only. I think Talonflame. I'm EV'd to catch Garchomp at plus one, so Talonflame could still be faster. Mousehold could even still be faster. But that's it. Gyarados could not be faster, unless it Dragon Dances. Which at some point it will. Oh, nice shot. Got a Cherish Ball. Talonflame Golden Go! No! You did not just lead Talonflame Golden Go. You did not. All right, who can take this better? Uh, 135, 110, 177, 91. Oh, that's about equal. It's about equally bad. I'm gonna go into Indeedee on the Chandelure slot. I throw a Weather Ball at Golden Go. Uh, this will lock them out of going for Brave Bird with Town Plain. And they could... I mean, we'll see what they do. I would expect a Tailwind, because they want to get ahead of my Scarf Chandelure. But with this special defense boost, and with resisting Steel, maybe we've got a shot? I don't know, Terra Steel, make it rain. Which is what they're going for, because they're popping the Terra. That probably knocks out a Torkoal. At least you have to commit a Tailwind to do it, but oh my goodness. Terrifying. Brave Bird's blocked. That's great. Torkoal's protected. Oh, they're not confident in knocking out Torkoal with that. You tell me I could have just hit with Chandelure? Torkoal eats that like a beast. I thought you said choice specs. <laughs> Alright. Bye. That is a huge threat eliminated. Whew, big weight off my shoulders. Now, Talonflame has taunt. So while it's currently locked out of Brave Bird because I didn't click Eruption. Um, oh, they could have Rillaboom, though. They could just go to Rillaboom, then they can Brave Bird. And that is what they do. Okay. Do you think Chandelure is nice? Uh, you have high horsepower, unfortunately. Baxcalibur's pretty nice, too. Baxcalibur's really nice. I need to preserve Baxcalibur for sure. Do I need to preserve Terrain? Not really. Uh, 
Uh, they probably take a double KO here. <clears throat> I think that's okay. Or do I want to try to give them Chandelure? I think maybe I'll try to feed them Chandelure. Just in case they, like, don't take Torkoal here. Because I don't think he would go for a high horsepower into Indeedee there. He might go for a Brave Bird into Chandelure. Just fake out the Torkoal. And taunt Chandelure! Yo! Okay. Yo, that's huge. That is really huge, because now... Unless Tailwind High Horsepower can take out Chandelure, which maybe, you're kind of stuck. So I can go back into Indeedee. In fact, I will go back into Indeedee. And Weather Ball your Rillaboom. Yeah. Yeah, I don't hate that. Because if you go for the Tailwind High Horsepower play, then you lose Rillaboom. Because Torkoal's just sitting here. Torkoal's still a threat. Don't sleep on the Torkoal. And Brave Bird can't knock out Torkoal because I have terrain control now. Uh, it is Tailwind. Now who are you hitting? It's Indeedee! <laughs> who eats that actually? Goodbye Rilla. Oh that's a cool camera range. It was like tilted. There you go. And as long as I don't hit Talonflame, it can't do damage. Because I just won Terrain Control. Gyarados only has single target moves? Great. Uh, but it also has Dragon Ball. Uh, you could taunt my Ndidi and Dragon Dance. So I think I want to go for a Helping Hand Psychic into the Gyarados. Just give it a good chunkin. I'm sure that won't do a ton of damage, but it'll be damage. Yeah, ta Taunt into Indeedee. That makes sense. You probably Dragon Dance. You want to go for a sweep. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense here. Uh, but you already burned Terra, so you only have Waterfall. So as long as I keep Sun up, Bax Caliber should be fine. Good damage, too. Yeah, eat your Citrus Berry. You're threatened now, you gotta take a KO. Uh, Sun is about to end. I think I'm going to throw Psychic and go into Chandelure. Chandelure is not really going to do anything for me anymore. Uh, because they've got a boost on Gyarados. I mean, I might be faster than Gyarados still, but like... They could... They, they got Tailwind up, so they're like way faster. Gyarados just protects. They're <laughs> going for a Will-O-Wisp KO on Indeedee. Hilarious. Yep, Psychic is going to be blocked, but I'm in the position I want to be in. Does Ndidi go down this turn? No. Two turns of Psychic terrain. Sun is gone. I want the terrain and the sun back. So I'm going to go out into Torkoal, and I'm going to fire off Terra anywhere else. Is Terra Fire Overheat stronger than Shadow Ball? In the sun? Probably. So that's what I'm gonna go with. They still can't, they probably can't KO in the sun. Plus one waterfall? I don't know if that does it. And I would imagine Terra Fire Overheat in the sun is stronger even than like Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball's 120, Terra Fire Overheat is 260, Halved is 130, it's already stronger. Yeah, Overheat's way stronger than Shadow Ball. 
Yeah, you go for a taunt there. Oh, did even DDs taunt? Where are they? I guess they didn't want me to set Trick Room, so they must be going for Chandelure. Who does not eat that? Okay. <laughs> Yikes. No, that's fine. Your team's Tailwind is gone, which does not matter. I'm going into Bax Caliber, which here we go. You can't Brave Bird me. You can taunt me, so I can't set up a uh, Swords Dance. But the Psychic Terrain is about to end. I'll bring it back. With Ndidi, we'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click Helping Hand. Oh, no, I got taunted on swapping. That's right. I'm going to click Weather Ball into Gyarados. And Icicle Spear into Gyarados. I'm doubling Gyarados because if they protect here, I don't want to chip the Talonflame at all, allowing it to Brave Bird. I want to keep Talonflame locked out of Brave Bird. That is my end game. Hopefully Icicle Spear can take it from here. I think if I get five, I should be able to. That did a lot of damage to Chandelure. Poor Chandelure. It has no bulk. I don't mean I didn't invest it, right? I mean Chandelure in general just doesn't have bulk. Terra Blast. Into their own... That's a great play! They Terra Blasted their own Talonflame so they can start Brave Burning. Uh, one of those Icicle Spears crit, but I'm only gonna need four anyway. Woo! That was a that was a really cool play. That was a really cool play. If you had survived long enough, that would have been cool. Weirdness is gone now. It does not matter. Either Weather Ball or Icicle Spear will take this KO. GG's. That was a fun set, and that was a great play. Uh, I know it didn't end up winning them the game. Maybe if I hadn't crit and only got four. <sighs> no. GG's anyway. Alright, this is going to be a tough match. Um, I might be able to get some mileage out of the Palafin uh, having to swap out. And the Pelipper not having Wide Guard is nice. Uh, Dragonite with Ice Spinner is annoying, but whatever. I could start blasting with Chandelure right away. Is that a bad play? Yeah, that's terrible. Don't do that. Uh, Dragonite's probably gonna be a lead. Uh, I don't hate Ndidi Hatterene. Kinda do. I like Ndidi Gallade. I gotta have Torkoal. I gotta turn their weather off uh, and win with Bax Caliber. That's how I think it's gotta be. Bax Caliber is great. Just need to get rid of. Golden Go is gonna be a little annoying, but I have high horsepower for that. Having Wide Guard on Gallade could be nice for the Golden Go as well. It is a life work Golden Go, so like Shadow Ball's still gonna hurt. I wonder if I could ever position a Weather Ball from their Pelipper turned into a fire from my son into my backs to get an attack boost? Huh, I wonder. Let's see, they've got King Gambit Palafin. That's fine. Palafin does have Protect. But does not have Flip Turn. Obviously you're gonna want to tear a King Gambit here, right? I think I'm going Helping Hand into Gallade and just Psycho Cut right into the Palafin slot. Yeah, that's swapping out into a Golden Go. I like doing big damage to a Golden Go. I do not mind big Golden Go damage. Huge damage. Love it. Kowtow Cleave, that's okay. Goodbye. Oh, indeed he lives. 
a little bit awkward. Follow me a Shadow Ball, but you wouldn't go for Shadow Ball. <laughs> I think I will helping hand Sacred Sword their King Gambit. This could just be a Terra Steel Maker, right? Oh, King Gambit's tearing, darn. Okay. This is gonna be a difficult match now. Wonder if I outspeed Golden Go? Or what Golden Go is going for here? Oh, it's a Shadow Ball! No, that might KO. Life Orb? Goodbye, Gallade. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, and a crit? I don't know if that mattered. That may have mattered. How <laughs> Cuff is going hurt bad. Alright, they definitely got Palafin. They could definitely just click Make It Rain. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. I'm in so much trouble. They definitely got Pelipper in the back. Any chance my Bax Caliber outspeeds a Golden Go? I mean, there's a chance if they're slow. Guess I just throw a Weather Ball. Gonna have to Terra. I'm just gonna go Icicle Spear into the Golden Go slot here. Oh, this is such a bad position. I don't think I can win this. No swap is interesting. Is it possible they didn't bring Pelipper? That would be really weird. Yeah, just make your rain. That's gonna do so much damage. Alright, Bax barely hangs on. Oh, if I had known this, I would have gone opposite with my attacks. If I could have taken out King Gambit with an Icicle Spear there, I'd be in a good position, but now, I don't think I've got a shot. They could go after Torkoal? I don't see why they would. They do go after Torkoal. Torkoal can eat that. Torkoal can throw back some big damage. That's half. I'll take half. Still no clue how I'm gonna ever get through a paladin. <laughs> I guess the answer is helping hand scale shot? I don't know. Uh, if they have Pelipper last, it's over, over. And they should, right? I guess if they don't, scale shot might be the play. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah, there, here comes Pelipper. Here comes Pelipper, and they're gonna wave crash Bax, and Bax is gone. GG's. That is game over. Jet Punch gets blocked, though. Hang on. There's always room for a throw here. Wait a second. Wait one second. That's a clean two shot as well. Defense drop, but speed up. I'm now faster than any Palafin you know. And Weather Ball will do something. Pax Caliber can't take both hits, though. And it's the last turn of Psychic Terrain. Would they protect Palafin here? If they Wave Crash and Weather Ball... I can't win. So I have to I have to bank on them going for a protect. Mm. 
They go for protect, I have a chance. No. They go for protect. <laughs> They're keeping me in it. Oh, I still don't win because terrain's about to run out. And then they can jet punch. But the fact that I'm still in this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Uh, I had to Terra, make it rain would have been an Oko. Weirdness is now gone. You can go ahead, you can sucker punch, you can jet punch. Do all the fun things you love to do. And I've got a, attack dro a defense drop even, so I'm in big trouble. But I guess I go for an Earth Power on Sweeper. And... An Icicle Spear on Sweeper. That's all I can do. Uh, Bax goes down, that is definitely GG. Whew. Fun game. Sucker punch. Does it. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Good game. Palafin just saving it for the right time. Bax did good though. I'm really proud of Bax. Alright, top eight. This is a best of three this time against a very similar team to mine. Like, oh my goodness. Half of the stuff is exactly the same. Their Galate is Terra Grass, their Ndidi's Terra Fairy, and yeah, minor changes here or there. Hatterene doesn't have Terra Blast. Um, unless they lead Delayed, and even if they do, I kind of like a Chandelure lead. Chandelure plus... Who threatens Chandelure the most? Galade probably? And then... Hat Ndidi? Something that can destroy Hat. Not particularly, but I do like Souls and Delayed. Uh, if they get Trick Room up, I want my own Pork Hole. And then this lead is a little weak too. I mean, they can't after you erupt because Chandelure is just immune to that, which is great. Um, is Bax any good? Hatterene any good? Is Indeedee any good? I really don't know. Um, I think I want... Bax? Just to have something super tanky. I think it could have been Indeedee instead. Uh, and I'm not super sold on this lead. I could have gone Torkoal Chandelure. Uh, maybe I should have gone Torkoal Chandelure, but I mean, I opened myself up to Sleep Powder either way. Oh, they got the Sleeping Psyduck. I think I've played this person before. Okay. Lilligant Gallade. Okay. Lifeguard and Art Teacher. Nice. Alright, Gallade does not have Protect and is Terra Grass. Overheat is free in that slot. Lilligant could sleep powder something, but it's slower than Chandelure at the moment. Do I want to Terra Fire? Absolutely not. Overheat into Gallade. And I will Psycho Cut into the Lilligant. All right, they are just gonna bring in Torkoal, it looks like. News Anchor, the historic genius. <laughs> Torkoal. Alright, who are you sleep powdering? Chandelure? Fine, that lets me pick a new move. I don't hate this. Uh, your Torkoal does have Earth Power, uh, but it's Charcoal. We might be able to just eat that, you know? I imagine that's what you're going for, is Earth Power in the Chandelure. What do I want to do about it? I want to click Heat Wave! And I also want to... Sacred Sword your Torkoal, honestly. Uh, if I get a one turn sleep here, that'd be great. Oh, uh, they just sleep powder into Gallade. There's no way you would erupt, though. Not this turn. 
Chandelure is fast asleep. Gallade is fast asleep. I'm glad I didn't go for a wide guard, because I don't think they would go for eruption here. Yeah, it's just earth power. Which we do mm. take. Which is good, but we're probably in Leaf Blade range, honestly. Which is bad. Uh, I'm gonna click Heat Wave. Not sure it's gonna happen. And I think I need to Psycho Cut the Art Teacher if I can wake up with Gallade. Here's an After You, probably an Earth Power then. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Hopefully I can get awake with Gallade though. Gallade wakes up, finally. Okay, Sleep Powder is off the table. Basically, we just traded one for one. We both lost our fast Pokemon. I kind of like Bax here now. They have Eruption and Heat Wave on Torkoal. So all they can hit me with is Earth Power if I go for Wide Guard. Music Teacher comes in. That's Indeedy. Dazzling Gleam, follow me. Helping Hand, Trick Room. Okay. Fine by me. And Terra Fairy. Do I have to worry about Terra Fairy? I don't know. boost. I don't think they would here. I'm gonna Swords Dance. And I'm going to Wide Guard. <clears throat> and you just protect the Torkoal. Nice. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna Trick Room. If I had to guess. I'm gonna get my boost on. Yeah, go ahead and Trick Room. Uh, the only move you can hit my back's caliber with is Earth Power. And I will retaliate with a big high horsepower right into your It is Terrifier Torkoal. Okay, good. And just Wide Guard here. Yeah, Helping Hand Earth Power, that's like your only play here. So I get it. I almost could have like read that and not Wide Guarded, but that's risky. Uh, it's Earth Power into Gallade first. That does nothing. Oh boy. Goodbye. And now I wonder if that was a mistake, actually. Maybe I should have taken out Indeedee first. Torkoal was such a non-factor. Now they could bring in an actual threat next to an Indeedee. Because with Gallade, I have to pick. Are they gonna Psycho Cut? Or are they gonna Sacred Sword? Psycho Cut is safer, so I think they will go for Psycho Cut. I'm gonna throw an Icicle Spear at them. Along with my own Psycho Cut. Oh, they're Terra Grass and Terra Fairy, so this doesn't really change much of anything. I'm not sure I understand the Terra Grass. Helping hand. Well, someone's gonna get hit. Who's getting hit? Sacred Sword! Oh, it is Sacred Sword! Ouch! Ah, oh, I should've tarried. Okay. That's gone, but this is fine. Psycho Cut should do a good... Ch oh, it's gone. Goodbye. <laughs> That's game. Woo! Alright. Game one is mine. It looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and Terrifier Eruption, assuming they're just gonna forfeit though. Just take your time, think about game two. Oh, that was fun! Alright, um, Lilligan hit so many sleep powders, but I also woke up really fast. Maybe this next time I need to bring my Ndidi, because Terra 
grass in Didi could be great. As long as I put it next to something that can KO a Torkoal. Hatterene ain't bad either for the magic bouncing. I wonder if I could just Indeedy Hatterene. If they go Torkoal and Lilligant, Hatterene might actually be outspeeding their Torkoal. <laughs> they live! They live! They live single target eruption! With Terra Fire! Oh my goodness! How did you eat that? Alright, same team. Game two. Chandelure did not work, but it's only because I got hit by Sleep Powder. So honestly, Chandelure in Didi might work. That could be really strong. Unless they lead like in Didi plus Gallade. Or in Didi plus Hatterene might be a little bit annoying, but that's fine. I like my own Gallade. He, he put in a lot of work. And then, I don't know if I need Torkoal. I could have Hatterene. I could have Bax again. I think if I'm dropping Tor something for Ndidi, it should be Torkoal. So I want Bax again. I do have two Trick Room Setters I'm bringing, so I should be able to control the speed. Got a little away from me there. They went for Sacred Sword onto Bax when I could have Terrad. And they also went Terra Grass. I still don't understand what the Terra Grass was about. Okay. Well, hopefully I can get Chandelure to pop off here. It's indeed Eagle the exact thing I was worried about. Okay. We get our Psychic Seed. They get their also Psychic Seed. Glade has Sacred Sword and Psycho Cut, Wide Guard, and Trick Room. I think I want to go for... Overheat. Yeah, I think I want to overheat toward Gallade. And helping hand it. Oh, indeed he swap. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's so good. Accountant of the distant past. Oh, that's the bear. Okay. This might be overkill. But I like that I clicked it. I think I found the right play eventually. Ah, I wasn't sure who I wanted to swap in there because I was thinking maybe bring in Torkoal, but I didn't bring Torkoal this time. They don't know that though. So they should be scared to put up Trick Room at all. And it's just wide guard. They just wide guard and bring in the bear. Okay. So I don't even have to hit this to prevent Trick Room. Cool. Big overheat. Boom! Goodbye. The bear, it has Swords Dance, Headlong Rush, Facade. No spread move. That's good. Here's Art Teacher. With no sun. So we are faster. I'm gonna throw a big overheat into the bear, because that's the actual threat, and just click follow me so they can't do some, I mean, they can't do after you shenanigans anyway. Yeah, this is the play. Follow me, okay, good, no protect from the bear. That's good, that's what I wanted to see. 
Let's see, I don't know if follow me was even the right play there. That does good damage. That did half. Good job, Chandelure. Sleep powder into the Ndidi, but that is okay, because Ndidi is gonna also take a big facade. Goodbye, Ndidi. You did great, honestly. No joke, you did awesome. Now, I'm gonna have to dodge a sleep powder with somebody. I think I'm gonna go with Gallade. Because their play is obviously Sleep Powder the Gallade. I think I want an Overheat into Art Teacher here. And... They did not burn Terra. Their bear is Ghost. Okay, watch out for that. So I will Overheat into Art Teacher, and I will Psycho Cut into their bear. That should be enough from here with Psychic Terrain up. Yeah, and they're tearing. It's definitely Ghost Bear. That's fine by me. Um, if you hit the Sleep Powder, I bring you to Sash, you take a KO. Chandelure's still doing damage at minus six. Don't disrespect the Chandelure at minus six. Boom. Go to Sash. Chandelure putting in work, I'm happy with it. If it goes down now too, it just frees up Vax Caliber. Encounters into Chandelure? Aw, oh, Chandelure had done its job. Alright. Blot, blot, blot. Goodbye, bear. Critical hit. Chandelure gonna wake up mad and take out your Lilligant eventually. And what's left? Is it... Was it Ndidi? Music teacher? Yeah, Ndidi. Uh, which just has Dazzling Gleam. So it can never hit Gallade, but I guess they could Sleep Powder. Um, I'm gonna go for the Overheat, of course. And I'm also going to go for a Sacred Sword into Art Teacher. Just get that off the field. Uh, this might be a forfeit, they might play it out. Yeah, just to follow me. Just in case. Uh, I imagine this is probably a Sleep Powder though, right? Uh, it's close combat into Chandelure. It does not KO. So I get a big Sacred Sword off. This will do a ton of damage to Ndidi. Yeah. Um, I want us to keep Bax Caliber healthy. I think it might be able to take a close combat. So I'm just gonna click Overheat here. And Sacred Sword. I'm gonna do Sacred Sword into Ndidi at this point. Battle was cancelled. That's GG's. Alright, here I am against my worst possible matchup. Pelipper, Palafin, Golden Bell. My answer has to be Bax. Just has to be. But how to get into position to do that? I don't know. Maybe it's a Bax lead with Ndidi that would suffer from Golden Go problems. But with Gallade, that could work. And Ndidi in the back, just full support for Bax. And Torkoal as well to turn off the rain. Just full Bax support. <laughs> Bax support. <laughs> uh, that's the way I, has to I have to play this. It's my worst matchup. If I lose, I lose. I made top four, it looks like. I think that's what this is. So, I've had a blast. I am ready to meet my maker. Who might be the Sheesh Man? Sheesh Man? You had to bring Pelipper, Palafin, and Golden Go, all my worst fears. In Sin Gold. It's Golden Go lead. It is Golden Go lead. Wide Guard can stop. The make it rain through fake out. Or I could just go in DD and block the fake out entirely and Sacred Sword the Incineroar. 
I like that better. I gotta be making plays. As badly as I want to use Bax Caliber, it's not off to a great start. Now this Golden Go, it's Terra Fairy and it's Leftovers. I don't think it's very offensive. And like, you need a Life Orb to Oko Gallade with Shadow Ball. So I think I'll be okay. Now if they Terra their Incineroar, I'm not gonna be able to KO it, that'd be annoying. Oh, I thought that was the Terra, that was just my seed, okay. Please don't Terra your Incineroar. Oh, they just Nasty Plot, that's fine. That's cool. I lied, that's not fine, that's awful. That's terrifying. I hate that. <laughs> uh, okay, if Shadow Ball doesn't KO, a plus two make it range shouldn't KO. That nasty plot's gonna be trouble. Trouble, 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 trouble. Dragonite, Inner Focus, Terra Flying, Stomping, Terra Blast, E Speed. I wanna get Trick Room up if I can. Do I? Rhetorical? They didn't bring Pelipper or they didn't bring Palafin. So I could just Trick Room and Wide Guard. I don't hate that play. Yeah, they're going for a Terra here. It could be Terra Blast into Gallade. Which would mean I lose Gallade, but... I lose Gallade, but get Trick Room up, maybe. Who's faster here? How did you EV your mom? Because Wide Guard will still exist, even if Gallade goes down first. Shadow Ball into Gallade, that should KO. Yeah. Oh, hmm. Wonder what that play was. And Terra Blast. I should eat a Terra Blast. I'm an Indeedee. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm gonna go into back. Now I'm really scared. Ah, oh, what do I do here? Because Icicle Spear into Dragonite could get become a problem if they protect. They already Terra, so they can't Terra their Golden Go. Does Helping Hand High Horsepower take Golden Go? Sure hope so. I gotta, I gotta get reads right to win this. And I gotta tear a poison. I can't go down to a make it rain. All right, it doesn't look like there was a swap. I'm terrified. Oh, I really wish I was Terra Water. I was considering Terra Water. Terra Water would be better in the Golden Go and Palafin and Pelipper. All right, Helping Hand. Show me Protect Dragonite. Show me Protect Dragonite. That's a Protect Dragonite! I at least got the recall right. That doesn't mean I win. This might not KO. It KOs! Yes! Yes! Let's go! Let's go, Bax! I love you! And there's Pelipper. I get, I, get, I get the weather. I get it. I get the weather. It's mine. Your Pelipper is Hurricane Weather Ball Wide Guard Protect. If you weather ball into my backs, it's gonna turn into a fire move, which gives me an attack boost. Then I Icicle Spear your Dragonite. That's just the play. No way. No way am I gonna win this. Oh, I guess I could still lose this. There's always double protect, there's hurricane can cause duckies. Backs Caliber could just be the fastest thing on the field. <laughs> Like, it's trained to be relatively slow, but not like min speed. Like, I have a little bit of speed investment because I can utilize Scale Shock to boost my speed. But 
taking weather control is big. Weakening up that caliper a lot. Terra Blast is gonna hurt. Oh, a critical hit is really gonna hurt. But we're slower than the Pelipper, so we get an Icicle Spear. And four is gonna be plenty. Whew. I think that's game. You could take backs here. I imagine you would double into Bax Caliber. I don't see any reason not to. With Weather Ball or Hurricane. I think Weather Ball's enough from here because of the crit. Without the crit, I think I would probably eat this too. But that's all right. All right, what is the status of all these conditions? I know we've got plenty of sun left. Looks like there's at least one Trick Room remaining. Two Trick Rooms remaining. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw a Weather Ball with a helping hand behind it. And they're gonna they're gonna throw Hurricane and hope for duckies. That's their play. Uh, well, they're gonna protect, get rid of one turn of Trick Room. That's fine. Um, is the Helping Hand Weather Ball to play, or should I just Psychic? Do we still have Psychic Terrain left? No, we don't have Psychic Terrain left. I like Weather Ball plus Psychic, that's fine, I think. They go for a Double Protect just to get out of Trick Room. They're afraid that this double up is gonna KO, and it might. If they're Sash, they might have no bulk at all. That could be Psychic range, I think. Definitely would have been in Psychic range. Yeah, that's enough. Good. Woo, that's a game one. That's a game one. It's just game one. All right, game two. What are they gonna change up? Um. They went with Insin and Golden Go trying to nasty plot on me. That did not work out for them. I wonder if a Chandelure lead could work. Just to throw them off. Put something slow next to it. Like Indeedy. Torkoal in the back. Bax won me that game, though. We need to go with Bax. We need to trust Bax Caliber. I really wish I was Terra Water Bax Caliber. Um. Hmm. Psy Spam won't work. They were ready for it. I think Chandelure could work on lead. I just need to put Torkoal in the back. And with Indeedee. And then finally, still Bax. Yeah, I think those are the. I think this is a good uh, change up for game two. It might catch them off balance. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I still have a game three to play. I just know if I play the exact same thing, I very easily could have lost that. So they're gonna be able to make some changes. They could definitely have won that game one. It's Dragonite Golden Go this time. That's a good change up. Okay. The Dragonite is just Lumberry, a Stomping Tantrum, Terra Blast. I don't mind Follow Me Heat Wave here. Terra Fire Heat Wave, even. Cause like, yeah, you can swap in your Pelipper if you want, but then I get to swap in my Torkoal the very next turn. Uh, there's Incineroar. That's fine. You're gonna take this Heat Wave really well. And I'm gonna Terra, and I'm gonna do a lot of damage. I'm not- it's not like I'm not gonna do any damage. I'm gonna do damage. Chandelure can put out some damage even without the Sun Up. I hope it's a lot for Dragonite. Uh, I was gonna say, let's burn the Dragonite too. No, it's Lumberry. That'd be funny. Yeah, do it. Burn the Dragonite. Double connect at least. That's a good start. 
no damage. But just stomping, okay. Maybe I want to go into backs and just follow me. Something about that symbol next to follow me doesn't look right. Like, I get that that's the normal symbol. That's the normal move symbol. Uh, but they have, okay, they have Incineroar. They have the same four, most likely. They probably have Pelipper Blast. They could pretty easily go into Pelipper here, too. Uh, Dragonite just protects, that's great. I'm just follow me because I assume it's a knockoff or party shot. And I don't want backs taking either of those. Uh, it's a parting shot. That's a little annoying because they can swap back around to intimidate again. But they also know helping hand high horsepower is going to hurt that golden go. If they let me get away with something like that. <laughs> I think I go back into Chandelure. No. Uh, they probably want to click Make It Rain. Click Scale Shot into Dragonite and set Trick Room. Alright, Dragonite swaps. This is probably into Incineroar. I'm assuming Golden Go is gonna go for the KO on backs here. And take it. Fine. That gets me into my Torque Hole. Which you will then punish with Pella for swapping in. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this isn't the perfect position. You've preserved Terra. We go to Pelipper on either slot. I think I want to weather ball the Golden Go slot though. <clears throat> Along with a helping hand. Yeah, Golden Go is the one swapping. Is that Pelipper? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's probably a parting shot into Torkoal. At least I get some good damage into Pelipper. That's good damage into Pelipper, too. Oh my goodness. Oh, is this a knockoff onto Indeedee? Well, that's terrible. And I think I lose. Yeah, but it's, it's game two. I did the change up. It didn't work. Okay. They know... They, they kept the same four. They know that those four can win them the game. Okay. Uh, so my win con here is... Got a weather ball, crit the Pelipper. And then... How do I beat Dragonite and Golden Go and Incineroar? Well, I don't. Yeah, that that's gonna be a GG there. Uh, Pelipper just protected? Come on, man! <laughs> that could have been a weather ball at Incin, honestly. But then Pelipper's gonna take out Chandelure eventually. I'm going to go ahead and forfeit this match, I think. I know I'm not talking, I'm thinking too hard. I think I'm gonna do the change up with Hatterene this time. 
Oof, this has been a fun set either way. It's a terrible matchup for me. I'm surprised he's not going with Palafin. Uh, I feel like Palafin has scared me in the past, but like the four that they're bringing, they're really strong. Dragonite Golden Go again. Okay. I'm going back to my classic Gallade Backs. And what do I do with Gallade Backs? Well, I Sacred Sword the Incense Swap. That's what. I need to make plays. No swords dance back. Ah, oh, no swap! There's no swap! Oh, that's awful. <laughs> where's... Where's the ensign? Where is he? Oh, I might have just... I might have just got kicked out from this play. Oh, boy. Uh, there's a Terra. Terra blast into Gallade, most likely. You want to get rid of that. Yeah, probably Nasty Plot then. Just a Make It Rain. Are you doubling backs by any chance? Because that would be a strong play too. Terrorblast into... Gallade. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Going to Indeedy now. I'm gonna go for a follow me, and I'm gonna go for it's really important what I pick here. <laughs> Scale shot into Dragonite. Dragonite swap, okay. Into Incineroar. Big damage on Incin, I like it. Could this even be a Protect from Golden Go? I would love to see that. It's not. Could it be a Shadow Ball by any chance? Ah, there's no way it would be a Shadow Ball. Just to make it. Ooh, and a crit on Indeedee. Ouch. That hurts. Scale Shot does some good damage to Instant and more importantly makes me faster than Golden Go. Ooh, really big damage to Instant. So the, uh, the follow me is obvious here. So is the hit into Golden Go, honestly. They have to protect Golden Go. There's no way they don't, right? They have to protect Golden Go here. They, they, okay, with, they withdraw Golden Go here. That's fine. That works. I can definitely work with that. All right, Bax, let's go. Get all the chaos. Now, it's still a prediction game, because I can only take out one thing at a time. Unless I'm willing to just KO one thing in Psychic Pelipper. I mean, that could work, too. I 
been getting these calls real good. I've been getting these calls real good. I think I'm gonna follow me. Dragonite doesn't have any spread moves. Icicle Spear Pelipper. Yes! Yes! Keep getting these right, Bax. You got this, Bax. Um, do I got this, though? Because they could now double target Bax with Make It Rain and Terra Blast. That wouldn't work. Turns of psychic terrain. No, this is okay. Now I gotta follow me. They know I'm attacking Dragonite, so I have to not do that. I don't even follow me. My helping hand. Two whole turns of psychic terrain, but they can protect that out. Yeah, I helping hand. No, I'm at plus one. Psychic. No, I gotta click this button. Follow me. High horsepower, Golden Go. Come on. Come on, you got this, Bax. You got this. Come on. I know you got this, Bax Caliber. Come on. Get out of here, Golden Go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I do lose Indeedy for this. Which means they can now protect to stall out terrain. and then extreme speed into bats. So the real question is, can Hatterene win the game? And I think so. There's a trick room here. And Icicle Spear. Yeah, that's the play. You definitely protect. But then I can just trick room, and then you still have to extreme speed in the backs, or hit the backs in some way. But then I'll be able to get in a couple good hits. And you'll have only... not much that you can do. Weirdness is gone, unfortunately, so Hatterene's not going to be doing too much damage. But uh, Expanding Force and Dazzling Gleam are the same. I'm going to go with Gleam, because it's pretty. Of course I click Icicle Spear, but you have to take out that scout. Uh, that doesn't do nearly enough. Oh, you Terra Blasted into Hatterene? For a critical hit? Oh! Woo! That's a lot of damage. But Icicle Spear is gonna clean you right up. Oh my god, how did I win that? Alright, here we go. Oh boy. Mouse Ape is scary. Uh, last time I fought this guy, Talonflame got basically locked because of the Brave Bird not being able to go in terrain, so I don't think they'll bring that again. Um, I need something for Mouse Ape, so I need Ndidi. I don't hate Hatterene. I don't hate Indeedee Hatterene Torkoal. Um, I'm a little worried about Golden Go. So maybe it's Indeedee Gallade Torkoal Hatterene. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, and uh, it's a best of three this time instead of a best of one, so. Cheese isn't going to work quite as well. They know what I've got going. They've got a Rillaboom to turn off terrain even. This could be a really hard match. Oh 
Oh boy. Now this is gonna be a really hard match. As it should be, we've both made it this far. Oh boy. I'm terrified. Oh, okay. Well, either way this goes, we both had a great run. Talonflame again. Okay, Talonflame Gyarados. I can get Trick Room if I want it. I could follow me. I probably need to follow me, honestly. They have the threat of swapping in Rillaboom and going for Brave Bird. They have the threat of Will-O-Wisp. I need to follow me. Trick room. I have to. No choice, really. Oh, and they just stay in here. What are they gonna do? Dragon Dance Taunt? Yeah, Taunt is fine. Taunt is A-OK. -okay. And Water Ball. Alright, I got you. It's going to be a Brave Bird into Gallade and a swap into Rillaboom. I 100% guarantee it. That means Torkoal comes in for free here. And who's gonna take this Brave Bird? Has Gallade served his purpose? Maybe he has. I think I give them Gallade. They think they can make this cool play. If they if they do pull off this play, I think that's the play they want to go for here. Swap Gyarados to Rillaboom. And Brave Bird the Gallade. That'd be a cool play, too. I will get no damage this turn if that's what they're doing. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing it. Nice play. Very nice play. I like it. And there's the Brave Bird, and there goes Gallade. Alright, your Brave Bird is no longer priority. Uh, your Rillaboom has... Your Rillaboom has high horsepower, but I can just go into Indeedee here and Helping Hand Erupt. Or probably Terrifier Eruption and a Psychic into the Rillaboom slot might be a little stronger. Terrifier Eruption. Do I want Helping Hand? Or do I want Psychic? I think I want Psychic. Because it could be a Gyarados swap in, it could be a Terrifier Rillaboom. Uh, helping Hand might... I, I don't really know. I should go and like do calcs before I enter a big tournament like this to so I know what does more into certain targets because it would be the same against pretty much anything there's Gyarados yeah that makes sense uh, I think Talonflame goes down here I would guess okay here's my Terra your Talonflame's Terra is grass so it's not doing that there's nothing it's going to be able to get off if it goes down to this eruption, which I think it would. There's a lot of damage behind this. There's Sun, there's Charcoal, there's Terra. I did not Helping Hand. Maybe that's why I should Helping Hand. I could have Helping Handed to boost the damage on Talonflame. But it's enough anyway. Uh, Gyarados eats its Citrus Berry. I think this is a Citrus Gyarados. Yeah. But then we should knock it back into Eruption Range, which is great. How much does Psychic do? Good damage. They can go into Rillaboom now. And they do. They have to stop the Eruption. So I think I Helping Hand Psychic their Gyarados. Is that silly? Maybe. But I think it's funny too. So I'm gonna do it.
And if I take Gyarados, and then successfully get Ndidi off the field, that, that, that's a long ways away. We're, we're a long ways from that. Uh, they don't have U-turn, though. Um, they could also just go straight for damage. No, they didn't tear their Rillaboom, so it's definitely faking out Torkoal. Yeah, love it. Bye, Gyarados. Alright. Now we're talking. Um, I could take Terrain Control by bringing in Hatterene. I could still just be an Indeedy Torkoal and just do... Ooh! Golden Go. Terra Steel Golden Go with Choice Specs? Okay, I'm taking that now. Last turn of Trick Room, you got Choice Specs Golden Go with Terra Steel. That's gone. I have to take that. I have to erupt and get rid of you. Rillaboom. I will go into hat. Alright. Game one's looking good. Uh, for, they would have to ter terror Rillaboom here. That's like the only play. Because Terra Steel on Golden Go isn't going to save you from anything. And then you go for... You live the eruption, you go for... High horsepower into Torkoal, hope that can KO. Wood hammer into the Ndidi slot, hoping for a KO there. But I like this. Terra Steel and Choice Specs, you're stuck there just taking this damage. You have no choice. I love it. Choice Specs gives you no choice. In that scenario. Yeah, this is a wood hammer, okay. Ow! <laughs> Critical hit wood hammer. Hope that does a lot to you too. Some to you, not a lot. This is a good position to be in. Twisted Dimensions do return to normal. That's fine. Follow me, Earth Power, GG. Also, Earth Power Trick Room. That would be fine too. I'm just gonna follow me, Earth Power, that's fine. Battle is cancelled. That is game one. Alright, this time... What do I want to go with? I want... to... not repeat the exact same thing, because maybe I do want to repeat the exact same thing with Ndidi and Gallade. Honestly, if it ain't broke. Uh, is Hat Trick the right fourth? No. Maybe it's Bax. Maybe it's Chandelure. Chandelure Endgame does look pretty neat against Golden Ghost specifically. Uh, it does have Power Gem, so watch out for that. Oh, I think this is fine, though. Like, Hatterene did nothing. Yeah, I think this is okay. This gives me some flexibility. And it's only a game two where I won game one, so I get to experiment a little bit. <clears throat> uh, I'm glad they're not doing Mouse Ape. Because they have Mouse Ape on their team, but they've been leaving that on the bench every time. I wonder if it's time for a piecemeal of that to come out. Ah, there you go. Choice Specs Golden Go on the field. That's interesting. Okay, um, what I can do here is... Hmm. This is a good position for them. Make It Rain is strong. They have to pick a move, is the thing. I kind of want a helping hand. Psycho cut their Talonflame. Talonflame swapped. Into Rillaboom. Is this a Terra Steel Make It Rain? Would you go for that play? You could get so much mileage out of that play if you go for it. 
Oh, it is a make it rain. It's not Terra Steel. So we eat pretty well, actually. Really well, actually. Hold on. We ate that. Yeah, Rillaboom, take some damage. We ate that real well. Okay. I think follow me. Get into Chandelure is in order. Now a minus one make it rain won't do much. And I'm worried that they're gonna try to read Indeedee leaving and go for like high horsepower. I also think they might want to stay in and keep make it rain. Making it rain? Make it in rain. That's it, yeah. Make it in rain. Yeah, uh, that's a Terra. That must be steel to keep making it rain. Which is great. Thank you for burning your Terra and putting me in a beautiful position with Chandelure. As long as I don't take too much damage here. We know you got Talonflame. You probably have Gyarados as well. There's the Make It Rain. That's gonna hurt indeedy. But not KO it. And then is it high horsepower read? Oh, it's just wood hammer. That still would have done a lot to a Torkoal. Alright, but I get some healing back. Let's go. Uh, I should hold Terra. But Torkoal being in feels good. <laughs> I just heat wave. Neither of you like that, nor do your swap-ins. And an eruption. Yeah, this is a good position. Grassy Glide, won't KO. Heat Wave Double Connect. Okay, giving up both there was probably your best play. That makes sense. Honestly, that was probably the best play you had. But now you can get uh, Tailwind. Eruption does nothing. Tailwind plus Waterfall could take out Feed Me Souls. Um, I could get a strong Eruption off though, so you gotta watch out for that too. Uh, Brave Bird could take me out, and then Waterfall into Torkoal could be pretty scary. Yeah, so I think actually what I want to do is Eruption Sack Gallade to the Brave Bird. That doesn't seem too bad. Put all I can into this Eruption. If I give them Gallade on the Brave Bird, they can no longer prior out prioritize Chandelure. If they go for Tailwind, they're just going to take big damage for free, basically. Uh, it's a tough spot. Any, any, this could be anyone's game here. Because they could also, like, double Torkoal, for example. That would be wild, but is totally viable. Okay, they go for the Tailwind. Presumably they then waterfall toward where Chandelure was. Yeah. Does Gallade eat that? Yeah, Gallade eats that! Free eruption, thank you very much. Ooh! Huge damage! Oh yeah. Oh, that's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. The Tailwind is problematic though. Okay. So Torkoal. Weather Ball to take out Talonflame. Gotta make this a 2v1. You have to attack Gallade at some point. If you Brave Bird it, you might KO yourself with Recoil. Honestly, you will take out yourself with Recoil eventually. I'm gonna Weather Ball Gyarados. And Psycho Cut Gyarados. I wanna hit the Gyarados, one way or another. Okay, Brave Bird into Gallade. That's fine. You take some recoil there. 
the waterfall onto the Torkoal does about a third. And we get the Weather Ball off. That's big. Big damage here. Huge damage here. Love it. Grass is gone. That's sad. I was using that. Alright, Chandelure time. Feed me souls. I am now going to Weather Ball into Talon Flame. And Heat Wave in case they double Torkoal. If they double Torkoal, Brave Bird probably goes first and knocks themselves out. Unless it doesn't do enough damage. Right, they Brave Bird. Chandelure goes down, but takes Talonflame with it, right? There goes Talonflame. It all comes down to a flinch. It all comes down to Waterfall flinching. And it doesn't flinch, and we take the dub! Let's go, Torkoal! Let's go! Incredible, Torkoal. You've done it. Alright, we are back. At the end there, I'll be honest, for a little bit, I was so tired, I didn't even realize that it was over and that I had won for quite some time. Uh, but I had a blast. I'm so glad Chandelure actually did stuff. I was worried that I was going to take this mascot. This is the Chandelure in my trainer card, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Uh, and I thought it might not do anything, but it did great. Uh, I do think I would make some changes to this team. I'm going to be doing another Regulation A++ tour in the future. Uh, I'll probably take the same team with some updates. I don't want to spoil everything. Uh, but you did hear me mention maybe Bax Caliber can change Terra, and maybe Hatterene could be something else. I don't know. You'll have to stand by and uh, see what happens. But anyways, I'm glad you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, I think you enjoyed if you made it this far into the video at least. Uh, and I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.